Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about the WPML credits. If you have been thinking and wondering if WPML is a really good plugin to translate WordPress, well, I do recommend it. And in this case, I would like to talk about how that automatic translation of WPML and the credits really work. You might already have visited WPML website and to check out their plans. Here we can see that, and they state the most popular and actually the one that I recommend if you're going to get WPML is the CMS plan. Now with the recent update, also they include now free credits. So this actually helps for those one looking for an automatic translation. If you are an agency and you have lots of websites that you have to do translation, then you can use a multilingual agency. But for most cases, and mainly if you only have like three websites, up to three websites, then multilingual, the multilingual CMS plan will be and can do the work. In another video, I already talked about the installation about WPML. And you can actually select here on the settings area this is the first recommendation. You can actually select between the translate everything or translate some. With the translate some, you can do a mix between the manual and the automatic translation. Or if you only want to translate everything as it says and really don't worry about too much the translation and do it a little bit more faster, the translation here in WordPress, then this is the option. Another important factor to have activated here on the settings in WPML, and it's also done via the wizard, is to have the advanced translation editor. It's the, it has been the new setup of how to translate here in WPML. And it is the way that it's now working for the automatic translation. The classic translation, it used to be the manual translation. And honestly, it was the one that takes a lot of time. It required um, to have probably a big team or a, a team focus on the translation. So for a website and now with the improvement of artificial intelligence and the translations, and now with the integration with Deepool, that in another video I also talk about how Deepool is really good to translate that content and to have more accurate. Here on the translation management, we can go here to the automatic translation and here we can see the payment and settings tab. Here we can write down our payment details. And also here we can see the table of prices. This table of prices is as reference to know how much the credits will cost. The automatic translation form WPML, it has an extra cost once you already have spent those first 90,000 credits. If you want to add more credits, you will have to be adding some extra credits and they will have here that cost. So for example, if you used to translate between the 50,000 credits and the 50,000, then you will spend $12. If you exceed that amount, you will jump to the other threshold and you will have credits between the 50,000 and the 100,000 credits. But in this case, you will pay 17. It might be the case that you don't want or might be worried about exceeding the limit. So you can actually set the limit so that this doesn't happen. And also, if you want to enable the next threshold, you can actually click here on enable and select the pay now so that those credits are added to your account and then you can actually use up to, in this case, 1 million credits. So this table is the one that gives you more of the knowledge of how credits cost. And I created a graph here actually and do a comparison to decide when are the WPML credits worth in which range, in which threshold. So here we have the table that we we already have seen from WPML credit and I just set out the cost per credit. If my math is good, it was just a division between the, and I just choose the top 
number of credits that you can use. So I divided the price between the top the top use of credits. So I got the cost per each credit. And here in this graph, we can actually see how the trend line per the cost per credit goes. So eventually, and of course, if we have a more volume of usage of credits, the price or the cost per credits will go down. So what recommendation of which, which range you should be using if you're planning to use the automatic translation here? And well, it's not merely my recommendation, as you can see here on directly on the numbers from the 15,000 credits and above, it's highly recommended or it's even better to be to be using the that amount of credits. If you're planning to use just a few, like here, for example, up to 15,000, it shows that it costs this amount, the 0.00046 per credit. So actually this threshold, it will be the, the least recommended to be in, otherwise it will be more costly and to have it or to be cost effectively, then it's recommended to have the above the 15,000 credits or use up to 50,000 credits. So above from this amount, it's the one that it's, I do recommend. So they have their math. It's the, it's also kind of the push to this way of also promoting the, the usage of the automatic translation. But honestly, it's worthwhile. I have been using almost for one year, I can say the automatic translation. In between this range, I'm already jumped to the 15,000. As I keep growing with the content that I have, and probably soon I will also start adding or be jumping to the 1 million credits because the combination and the possibility of use people is really easy. Here in the automatic translation engines, we have the opportunity to choose between Microsoft Translation, Google, and DeepL. And here we can see how much credits we will use per word. So here we can actually we decide which one we will like to use. If there are some languages that DeepL doesn't have, we can turn on Google and select the order of which machine engine should be used next if Deeple is not available. If we go here to language mappings, and here we can see a table of which languages are available per machine translation. So here, for in the case of Chinese or Arab, there is no Deeple. With the previous configuration that we have done, we are telling to WPML to use Google since Deeple is not available. But for the rest of the languages where Deeple is available, then Deeple will be the machine translation to be used. But if you, in case that you don't want to use Google, then you just deactivate and just keep Deeple as the main translation service that you can, that you will use. And of course, the credits will vary since the quality of course of the translations won't be the same. People is the one highly recommended because it's, in my opinion, it's high. It's really accurate and it's good to be used. And also here we have the option of setting who can use the automatic translation. So in case that you have a team, you can assignate the automatic translation permission or you can restrict the usage of the credits. So if you want to have a control on this, you can actually also do that. As well, if you have some other two websites that you also want to connect, you can actually do that connection and copy your migration code. So in this video, I wanted to talk a lot more about how the costs and the WPML and the WPML credits work. In other videos, I will be showing exact the exact steps of how that WPML automatic translation and how it works. Thanks for watching. Thank you.